Hello, my name is Mark Blanket, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to create a scroll effect or rather a scroll text inside InDesign to view it on the iPad using the digital publishing suite. Alright, so you can see on my screen itself, inside this red box here, there is a very long set of content or text. And what I need to do is I need this content to be inside this blue frame here in order for it to scroll. So the most important thing about scroll text is that when you select the frame itself, look at the width. All right, the width of this frame box has to be the same size as the width of the text box. For this, it's 490 pixel. For the text box, it's also 490 pixels. So you won't have weird effects where you will scroll up and down and left and right, like a website. All right? Sometimes you'll find it's a bit difficult to scroll up, down and left, right. So what I need to do is I need to align this text box with the frame box, just the two of it. Select the two content, align it. it, doesn't matter where is it, and just move it back, it's fine. Cool, that's all. Alright, so next thing what I need to do is deselect it. And I need to select the text, of course the text box. I need to cut it out. I need to select the frame box. And I need to right click and paste into the box. That's all. As you can see in here, the content grabber should appear. As you can see again one more time somewhere around. Anyway, when you click on it, you can see that it's actually behind. It's all in, rather, it's inside. Alright, so once it's done, select the box. Look at the overlay creator itself and you'll see that the pan and zoom effect is ready for you to use. So you click on it and you need to activate the pan only radio button. And that's all you need. Very simple. Alright. So if you preview onto your um, Adobe Content Viewer itself, you will see that it actually works by scrolling up and down. I'm going to show you a quick preview on my screen itself. Okay, using the Lego Times folio, of course, if you export it out, it becomes a folio. You can see over here, right? This is the scroll text effect. Right? Very simple, you can see the scroll bias at the side. Alright, so this is all for creating scroll text or scroll content inside InDesign for the iPad.